What's going on, friends? What's up, gamers? And welcome to a special E3 edition. E3, I don't even know how to intro it, but 2018 part one <laughs> yeah, like of that. Drillcast. Yeah, I'm just going to fucking wing it. Go for <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> you here, Jack. Hi. Hello. Oz, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, your gamer tag is true, Oz. My gamer tag show 220. Oh, there you go. You don't yeah, have to go yeah, off the rails completely because this is like E3 2018. Man, it's Episode just my mind one. is blown, man. Everything that we've just seen and all that goodness. Like, it, uh, yeah. I don't know. It has been it, a lot. If, it's been a lot. Okay. Uh, you, I know like we literally just like talked about this off air, but doesn't it seem like it went zero? Like <laughs> last week's episode literally had like nothing on E3, you know? Like it was right. meant to be our pre-E3 and we're like, yeah, like nothing, like nothing's really coming out. Like I feel like nothing is really going to happen. And then out of nowhere, boom, it's just bombs going off. Like everything is out. Totally. And I feel like there's just a lot more than I anticipated this year. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I was telling you where I was looking at the release uh, schedule for the next, like, couple months or even just the rest of the year. How about that? And it's looking crazy. We had maybe, like, four or five games that seemed interesting. You know, like, yeah. obviously, you have Black Ops 4 and Red Dead 2. But other than that, it was kind of like a few other things sprinkled in there, nothing else. And now it's just like... Dude, this list is packed. It's the rest <laughs> yeah. of this year is insane. In and the it's heavy hit. And too, yeah, like. and the beginning of next year is crazy too. I mean, we'll get into the games, but like Kingdom Hearts three comes out in January. Um, what's it called? What did I just say it comes out February. Metro Exodus comes out February. Uh, Crackdown three Crackdown. is supposed to come out February. I think Days Gone is scheduled to come out February. Days also, gone. I mean, we haven't heard much about Days Gone yet. Sony is later tonight, so we're recording this after EA, Bethesda, Xbox, Square Enix, and Ubisoft, and before Sony. So we're yep. kind of in between everything here. We want to get this episode out before everything yeah, else Yeah, definitely. Happens. So later on in the week, you guys will get part two, which will feature a PC showcase, Sony, and Nintendo. Yeah, and a couple of things from Inside Xbox 2 that just happened that they yeah. didn't have during their main conference that I thought were pretty interesting. So we'll take some notes on those and report back later this week. A couple extras, yep. Yeah. All but right. First, so oh, I want to go through the deals and everything because E3 right. week, it's like, a, it's like a holiday week for video games. <laughs> there's always sales and deals going on, and yep. there's actually quite a bit of them. So I just want to run through the ones that I have noted. There might be other ones that I don't have, but I want to mention, like, the stuff. If you don't listen to any more of the show, the next two minutes will be, like, the part you want to listen to. Xbox Game Pass is a dollar for new members for the first month. So if you never had X Xbox Game Pass before, go and sign up. It's a great service. We'll get more into that later, <laughs> what's coming soon Kay. on that. I quick side note on this before before we move on, and this will be the last time I interrupt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So Game Pass for a dollar is a great deal, right? But here's right. what you do. If you just got an Xbox One X, use your 14-day free trial first. Major key because the dollar still applies if you use that. Does I don't it? know why it works. Yeah, because I used the trial and then I used the I, I got offered like the well, dollar don't they, membership. I don't know if they still so when we got our Xbox One X, they gave us a free month. That's what they did. Okay, so whatever that may be. But I mean, for or, you, or even if you, you signed up way before the 14-day trial. I'm yeah, so the 14-day trial. There's that too. Don't forget. All right. And then Anyways. you can still get the dollar membership. Anyways, Anyways it's cheap. Go ahead and get it if you don't have it. If you want to get a little bit longer for subscription, or if you already are a Game Pass subscriber, Amazon has six months for thirty dollars, so you can get an entire year for basically half the cost of a year of Game Pass. It usually costs you one hundred twenty dollars, ten dollars a month, twelve months. Or you can go to Amazon and grab a digital code for thirty dollars for six months. I grabbed two of those for myself. I think Oz, you did the same. I also did. Yep. Yep. So Even I got my I year locked in for Game Pass, six. and I'm thinking about buying more. <laughs> uh, they were out you of stock. You can only get two at a time. Yeah, you can only get two at a time. They were out of stock. Uh, they're back in stock right now as we're recording this. So hopefully you guys hear this and they're still in stock, and maybe I'll grab a couple more after the show. A couple sales going on. Rise of the Tomb Raider 20-year celebration is 70% off on Xbox. For some reason, it is not discounted on Steam or PS4. I double-checked. Uh, so it's only $18. If you want to grab it, grab it. Or I would really suggest just getting Game Pass instead because it is part of Game Pass. Just Cause 3 XL Edition is also on sale only on Xbox. For some reason, full price Steam PS4. But it's 80% off, so $9.00. If you Jeez. want the XL edition, or if you want to save three dollars, you get the non XL edition for six dollars. And the reason why you should get that, if you're interested in Just Cause in general, Just Cause Four comes on December, so it's a perfect time now. We'll get more into that later too. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue Standard Edition, the craziest Jeez. title ever. It's 33 <laughs> percent off on PS4 right now. It's only on PS4 because that's the only platform it's on. Twenty dollars for that. Two turbo. And right, right, right. It's they, <laughs> super turbo. They almost went Capcom with that <laughs> <Ultra>. title. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. 
if you're interested in soccer or as other people call it football uh fifa 18 the full game is like a it's free right now but only for this week so basically until june 15th you can play for free the full game play as much as you want the only thing that happens is when june 15 hits you can no longer open the game you'd have to buy it if you want to do it and that trial is very is uh for xbox one ps4 and origin on pc also recently updated to include the world cup exactly yeah so that was kind of like their announcement like hey we want everybody to be able to experience this and that goes with that Uh, this one you told me about which i actually i fell asleep during bethesda conference (laughs) that's a different story um (laughs) quake champions they have they're going to come out with a free-to-play edition once they get out of early access but they're giving like a free preview to it or like I don't early early access to the early <laughs> access of it now. Yeah, how do you want to explain that? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it's <laughs> like. Yeah, it's weird. And it's, yeah, it's definitely a weird way to to release something. But yeah, it's free until June seventeenth. Right. So you can keep the free to play version indefinitely, but you only have until June seventeenth to get it. Otherwise, it goes back to the early access price, which was like fifteen or twenty dollars or whatever it is. I think right. Yep. Um, until the game comes out of early access and the free-to-play edition returns. It's a whole thing. But if you're interested in Quake Champions, if you haven't jumped in yet, now's a great time to do it. Uh, some XP news. So Gears Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So Quake Champions, just just want to touch up on this real quick. Yeah. So I, I know I, I don't want to go into something like too crazy, but I know that both of us like really love Unreal. You love Unreal, what, 99? 99 is the, the best one. The old one. school one. Yeah. I, I love the best, I, the best one for me is 2K14, uh, so... We, I, I love that game, right? Yeah. I played Quake Champions last night, like after they, they, they announced all of this. The most fun I've had playing an arena shooter in years. That's a huge statement right there. It is a huge statement for me to say that because I, I didn't grow up playing Quake, but this just felt so much fun. Nice. Anyways. Nice. What was you? What was you? I saw you post your score too. What was your? What was you? Uh, uh, it was like twenty. With? It was like twenty-five and three or something, or twenty-four and three. I thought you said like, like I was like just tearing shit like up. That. I don't, I don't remember. It well, was, whatever it was. It was, it was high had, kills, you, low deaths. You had That's a great KD ratio in your first match. So uh, And I, I was in tears. It, it was. It just felt so good to go back to an arena shooter for many reasons. But we'll get into that right. uh, when Drillcast is not <laughs> an E3 special. Right, when we don't, we don't have two hours of games to talk about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Gears 4, there's five times experience all this week. There's a Outer oh. Wilds Cape Hack. Uh, new anime skin challenges are up. So remember how we did the character challenges and stuff? We talked about those. They have those now mm-hmm. for new animated skins. Uh, we have a link also, so I'll post a, I'll put that in the sh- we'll put that in the show notes, the link, so you can read more about that whole thing. The crew true, the, the crew too. That was kind of weird. I said like true. <laughs> Why, why'd you say it? true? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was chains re- came out. <laughs> I was reading crew, and I wanted to say two, and true came out. Uh, oh, hi, two chains. <laughs> yeah. So they got an re- official release date, June 29th of this month so a couple weeks away and the crew 2 is out open beta it's gonna be on ps4 xbox one and pc you can preload it now but you can't play until june 21th but if you're interested in that go ahead and do that the there beta, is a right? huh the beta open beta out? wait open so beta june 21st game comes out june 29th why bother with the beta when your game releases it's a- it's so <laughs> that's another discussion we can have another time but it's more of like okay. a, a demo right Okay. It's like a play our game. Over. Yeah, it's like play our game, but if it's Fair broken, enough. we're not taking credit for it. But really, it's <laughs> it's not a beta as in like we're testing things. I, I, maybe it is a little bit, but like I said, we'll get into that another time. There was um, a PC game that I just saw on PC Game Showcase, but since there it's like 25 or 20% off for launch week, I wanted to make sure that I n- mentioned it here right now because you don't have much time to go get it. So make sure if you're over- interested in a game called Overwhelm, it's kind of like, um, oh, God. I don't want to say Mega Man, but it kind of is kind of like that, but really not. Maybe like a Shadow Complex, like that style of side scroller, you know, kind of shoot everything type of game. It looked pretty cool. And on the hardware side, Xbox One X is discounted 50 bucks. Or if you just want a normal Xbox, you get a One S 500 gig version for 200, or a one terabyte version for 249, and also 10 dollars off all controllers. And then the last thing, as you see right below, which you have highlighted, I say we save for later. But um, that's a whole different discussion that well, I'd like to get I, into. All I have time. highlighted here is uh, the controllers. Right. Um, but I mean, like, right underneath I, what you have highlighted oh, okay, yeah. on the Google that's Doc. Fine. Um, that's so, fine. Yeah. So the 10 off controllers, that also applies to labs, right? Because I think I, I saw something about a deal so. going on with the labs. Yeah. Okay. I haven't double checked, but I think so. Hey, is, uh, is the uh, gear shop open yet? What do you mean, gear shop? 
gear.xbox.com. Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked any of that stuff. Oh, oh no, it's just coming soon. It's not okay. open yet. Anyways. So Anyways. Cool. <laughs> and then you said you conference-wise. So that's all like the deals and news or like things you should know right now. But I think you so said you wanted to hop into Xbox first. All right? of that is the No, no, no. We'll we'll go. Let's just go in order. So all, I mean, okay. really there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> with okay. the EA. All right. Uh, yeah, so all the deals, all the good stuff, out of the way. Uh, everything from here on out, guys, is literally just going to be opinions on the what conferences was in and order. The conferences themselves, I think. Yep. Yeah, in order. So EA. Yep. <laughs> well, what, I, <laughs> well, what do you okay. have? Because we have different notes for this. So what I'm looking so, at, I mean, yeah, I don't have, I don't have your notes open. You don't have my notes open. Um, yeah. Battlefield. I, I mean, literally, like they just didn't announce anything to me. The only me- okay, there was like maybe there was a few. Okay, so you're uh, just talking about games. I'm looking through. I'm looking through. Maybe there's a lot more than, than than I thought, but it just didn't feel like a heavy hitter like all of the other ones, right? So, Battlefield Five, whatever. We've already like heard enough about this. They're getting a battle. They're getting a royale mode, like all this other shit. Right. FIFA 19 looks like every other FIFA in the past. Well, Sorry, every, but it's the truth. They all do. I mean, all the sports games do, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the biggest announcement that came out of like that the sports uh, thing is that Madden 19 is going to be on PC for the first time in 10 years. Correct. That's yeah. that's pretty huge. Still, don't like I don't know like how big like was there even really a, a market for it? like I there don't know. Must be. Or they must have in some order for reason them to for release it, it. They must have some sort of data to back up a reason to release Madden on PC. Correct. Yeah. Um, and I guess somewhere in between there, they also announced Origin Premiere. I think you kind of wanted to touch up on that a little. Well, bit. it's real simple. They already have EA Access on Xbox and Origin. What do they call it on PC? It's Origin something. I don't know. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't know. Origin something. Whatever they call it on, on PC, they have different names, which is really weird that they're different. But whatever. It's annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they announced Origin Premiere, which I'm pretty sure is only going to be on PC. But it's also going to give you access. Not only access, they have a vault. They have a base. They, they call it a vault. It's like Xbox Game Pass. So there's a bunch of EA games in there. They occasionally add games to the vault. And it's only EA games. It's not, you know, any other publisher games. But what How they announced. Did they say? Uh, Premiere? Yeah. I don't remember if they said or not. I don't have it ran down. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, but either, the point so of that maybe. is like. So Microsoft with Xbox Game Pass, they give you access to all first party titles the day that they launch. And now EA is going to do the same thing with Origin Premiere. So you want to play Madden NFL, FIFA 19, even Anthem or Battlefield 5 when they come out, you'll be able to do that the day they come out if you're subscribed to Origin Premiere. So they're doing the that's same thing. That's actually pretty sweet. Right. Um, that's another I thing I think we need to get into though in two another weeks day. or something yeah. on the whole like all these different services. Subscriptions. Yeah, services. Well, we'll get into that. Because it's going to be a problem. <laughs> right, and this will be another thing. Right. Uh, they recently bought Gamefly, and EA, in the beginning of the conference, brought up that, hey, we're going to get into streaming, and we think that's the future. So they said it's not yet ready for prime time, you know, which a lot of people can also argue that. But, um, yeah, that's another thing that's going to go within the subscription service discussion. Interesting. Yeah, anyways. Very interesting. Yep. Um, so Respawn Entertainment didn't have anything really, but they announced <laughs> a new Star Wars game, which, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Well, we knew they were working on one or I had read that. I don't know if you had known we read that. It, yeah, there, there was, there was a, a report on that a right. while ago. Right. And we um, got the title Jedi Fallen Order. We got Order. the title and we got a timeline for where, around where it occurs. And we also have a release date. So the the storyline takes place between episode three and four, where there there were dark times. He said, yep. "You know, Jedi's are being hunted, and you play a Jedi, which is fucking great because, I mean, you're getting hunted, and that's what you want. You know, you want to feel fucking powerful, and you want to feel like a Jedi. So it, I don't know. It seems promising, and it's respawn. You know, I I have right. a feeling, I have a feeling it, it it's it's gonna it's gonna bring some life to uh to Star Wars in the game in, gaming side of things because Battlefront." to me was a complete flop with all of the microtransaction bullshit that happened and all that other stuff i think it was a flop so hopefully this brings some life to uh to the game yeah i think ea's uh, learned a lesson about microtransactions and all that stuff <laughs> i hope so man i mean they gave a whole uh, speech. holiday 2019 release by the way right 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 holiday 2019 shout out fallen order they also gave a whole spell for was next and they gave a whole speech about hey sorry we messed up uh you know <laughs> we know you guys didn't like those microtransactions and we're trying to fix it 
<laughs> and they went through like their future plans with Battlefront 2. It's funny, man. Everybody's releasing these commercials like, hey, guys, we fucked up. We know we fucked up. And we're very sorry. Yeah, Facebook did that with like the privacy. <laughs> Facebook stuff did and all it. That. Uh, and, Wells yeah. Fargo did it. Like everybody's yeah. doing one of these apology videos. It's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, Unravel Two. I never played the first one. It looks like a very cute, well, like, fun game. There's some new content for Battlefront Two. We just go through oh, real quick. Oh, go for it. They're releasing go Solo, or, like Han Solo. You know the current movie uh, content for that. They have a new squad system, new Starfighter mode. A new large-scale multiplayer experience, which I put in parentheses and a question mark with Royale, because they didn't really expand on what that <laughs> really meant. Yeah. And they're also going to add some DLC this year that goes through the Clone Wars. And they said it's got multiple levels, one of the largest levels they've ever, or the largest level they've ever built. And it's going to have Obi-Wan, Count Dooku, Anakin Skywalker, and General Grievous in it. So, cool. I just want to go through that. Yeah. But that's a lot of a lot of characters. Um. Right. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so Unravel 2, co-op, a story of chances. Oh, my gosh. I, <laughs> I wrote that down in quotes. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so the game is basically meant to be played. I mean, you play the two characters. It better experience co-op. I, I th- have a feeling like everything that EA has been doing as of late is play like it's it's like fo- heavily focused on co-op. I want to say everything, but mm, Unravel 2 chunk. and yeah. uh, A Way Out that, we, that we, you and I played. Yep. So a way out was uh, was mentioned two million in the first week of release. Is that was that like the it was something I didn't, like that? I didn't write it down, you. but when I heard that number, I'm thinking like the number probably has like si- significantly fallen off just because once you play it, like you're really not gonna play it again. Oh yeah, no, of course it's like a one and done type of experience. Yeah. But the fact that here's this indie studio, I, like Yosef, like shout out Yosef, man, because that's your boy. That's that's the homie. Yeah, you know, like that to to get two million, like he he earned it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. He one hundred percent earned it, and it's not even that the game, like the game is fun. The game was great. The game had nothing to do with the two million. The that had to do a lot more with Just how with him. he himself yeah. sold the game. I would have never have bought this game if it wasn't for how like hype he was about the story and about the game and you know all this other stuff i, I would have just been like oh it's another like fucking title like whatever cool yeah but the way that he sold it i was so in like that guy could oh man he, he's he could sell me anything <laughs> <laughs> definitely anyways unravel 2 is a, is a you could play a single player or co-op it looks better as co-op uh basically two characters connected by yarn i never played unravel 1 but i'm pretty sure i own it and it came with Xbox Live Gold games with gold at some point. I am pretty sure. Does that sound right? Sure. I think that's right. Anyways, Unravel 2, they kind of surprise you. They're like, it's out today. But then today was three days ago or four days ago. So it's out now if anybody <laughs> wants yeah. to play it. And it looks good. What I want to do is go through and play Unravel, the first one. Because like I guess I'm pretty sure I own it. And then I'll see how interested, like what happens there would be how interested I am in Unravel 2. I mean, for there to be a two, obviously there is some interest. So. Or right, but I mean, for me, like, do I want to oh, yeah, pick yeah, it up yeah, yeah. Unravel 2 and try it out? Do I want to do the whole co-op yeah. thing? It looks pretty cool, and the co-op moments do look awesome, so we'll see what happens with that. So, new indie original, uh, similar to A Way Out. It's mm-hmm. called Sea of Solitude. Released early 2019 is what they're saying. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I it, look, it looks good. I mean, it, it wasn't sold to me the way Yosef sold me on the way out. <laughs> so this is what I mean. Like, yeah. will I get this? It's just another one of those games. It's different, like, though, also than A Way Out. It's... It looks, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I get that. It looks great. Don't get me wrong. Like, the the way the, that the, uh, the shadow, no, not the shadow, the reflection, like, pinched back. So maybe we should explain the what the game's about because other a shadow. Go for it, because yeah, go for it. I, I honestly I have no idea what the game is about. So unfortunately, I forgot the lady's name, but she's like head of the studio or whatever. Yeah, you see what I mean. This game already not right, sold. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what is Yosef's last name? <laughs> Ferris. Um, exactly. But we've also seen him many times over the last like year that's and true. a half or two no, years. This is the first time we've met her, so maybe. And I think she still was um, impactful. She still left an impact. Because she was sure. like very happy to be there and a little bit embarrassed and oh she was so nervous you yeah could tell. yeah but she was like great. confronted she was like oh okay I, I know let me just say I'm really yeah. nervous or whatever it's really great yep. uh, anyways uh, the game's about loneliness and I guess she wrote it about herself during a period when she was really lonely and what either she noticed while she was lonely or extrapolated that somehow however it worked out she didn't really get into the depths of how she wrote it but 
basically the main character becomes unrecognizable and it turns into a monster. So the story is about a, a girl who is lonely and turns into a monster and has to like fight demons and monsters to become herself again. Become so again. yeah, I would think that's like a pretty good explanation. A solid explanation right, yeah. right. And I mean, it looked good. The art style was pretty cool. Um, yeah. It, uh, how do you how do you explain it? Like a hand drawn, maybe like Sea it's of a, Thieves ish, but not as cartoony. Does that sound um, about right? Because yeah. I mean, it looks you know. It's more defined. Yeah, yeah, not as cartoony. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to explain, but it, right. go check out the trailer. It, it's definitely it's a very powerful trailer. Like the second, like the the you're on a boat, you know the 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 little girl is on a boat, and then she l- looks over and she sees her reflection. It's just like a dark you know reflection. Correct. Yeah, she reaches down like to see like, hey, is that like really me? And then the reflection itself like reaches out for her. Attacks her. Yeah, that it, is a very fucking powerful. Like just looking at that, you're like, wow. And then having her explain, you know, about loneliness and all that other stuff, you're just like, wow. Like that's that's kind of that's crazy. Definitely, that's cool. Yeah, and she. So it definitely like, does look good. Yeah, she nicknamed it SOS, Sea of Solitude, and SOS yep. stands for help. So it all kind of yep. like t- ties back into that. Like, hey, great. Great yeah, choice. yeah, yeah. Great. Everything about it. So definitely shout out to her. Sadly, I don't remember your name. Like I remember Yosef's, yeah. but we'll remember hopefully it. we get to see more of her. Yeah, uh, I think we will down the line, and I'm sure we will because EA with, with these indie studios has been very, very good. At yep. least uh, based off of uh, a way out. Correct. Um, and then they cut to NBA Live 19. Right after this, <laughs> you know, sad moment. <laughs> yeah, a couple in a, or a couple of sports things. NBA, I mean. They're both NBA games and Madden games. There's nothing to really talk about. NBA Live comes out September 7th of 2018, and Madden 19 comes out August 10th, 2018. So that's really all I have written oh, down for man. those, unless you have so, something else. No, that's that, I didn't even write any of this okay. down. Um, okay. Because the next game <laughs> we heard about before this even went live. <laughs> yeah, I think you sent it to me the night before or whatever, right? And just let it die peacefully, please, man. Just uh, nobody's gonna bring it back. Like, just let it die. He, so I was talking Conquer, about Command and Conquer, yeah. <laughs> rivals, mobile game, and and the the fucking part that really pissed me off about this is that they avoided the name of the game the entire time that they're showing it off at the beginning. And they didn't even say like GDI or not, even though they it was say, obvious. It yeah. was so obvious. You see the logos. I see the hand or the fist, whatever the hell the the nod thing. And I'm looking at this, and I'm just uh, – you see the eagle for the for – the GG, and I'm like, are, are you fucking kidding? Like, what is this bullshit? Like, don't insult me right now. <laughs> and then, sure enough, they're, co- like, commentating the whole eSports, like, feel to it. And there's Fog of War and Register for your Android, Chance for an Alpha invite, all this other bullshit. And I'm, I'm just – I don't think you need I mean, invite I, to the alpha. I think Android has it. You're available today, no, so right? No, you pre-register. You so you could pre-register. You go in, you hit pre-register, and then you have to wait for a, a oh, okay. alpha invite. But yeah. you can do that on Android. Not available for iOS Correct. yet. Uh, well, pre-alpha even, is only on. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can pre-register on iOS. Can you? I don't know. They just said Android pre-alpha available today is what they said, and this was three days. By ago. invite, yeah. So, so I I registered. Okay. And despite talking all this shit. <laughs> then you're going to rage more in a few weeks. Okay, cool. I just want to... Exactly. I just want to see what... I mean, I get I get what the game is about. I just want to experience it myself, and then I'll make a, a, a full judgment afterwards. Right. I mean, I liked... We'll talk... I guess we'll get into that later. We'll get into that Because I liked later, a couple yeah. things about it. Just liked a few things. Yeah. But uh, uh, anyways. I'm, I'm, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that another yeah. day. Uh, and then closing out the show, I think, right? Yeah. This is it. Was Anthem. Yep. This was their 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 destiny killer basically. Like, that's funny. I wrote I wrote that too. Th- I think that's like Why did I write destiny? I wrote thing. explanations feel like destiny is what I wrote. But I mean <laughs> I feel like it's very similar kind of in how they were explaining it. So Um 100% online released in February 22nd, 2019. That's your other game that's Oh, that's February. what it is. Holy oh my shit. gosh. Wait, really? One, this game might get pushed back. There's no way it's going to make a February release date. It's not going to release yeah. on time. And it better not be cracked down, man. I'm going to be so pissed. Uh, that's, that I, already I got delayed plenty of times. That, that Anthem is. better get delayed for holiday 2019. I think it, Anyways. I think it will be. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, man. I, just more of the game. They just talked about the classes and stuff. Like, all right. Right. Uh, every suit's I'm customizable, so even if you pick a certain class, you don't always look like that class. You can look like how you want to look like. So I thought that was cool. They said thought, there's 
Oh yeah. I thought you could just hot swap between any of the classes based off of. You can do that too. Consistent. You can do both. Yeah. So my 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 question is, if you level one class up and you hot swap to another, does your level carry over? Like, is it is it like? Tied I don't think to so. You? I think the suit. Tied, I would say it's probably like air mech. So you have a pilot level, and you have like a suit level or a mech level in air mech. So it's See, like because that kind of worries me. Like I don't want to have to grind all of these suits out just to. It's the same thing in gears. Same thing in gears when you do uh, a horde. Mean? Every class is its own grind. Mm, Same yeah, thing. That's true. Well, but it, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to get with my friends and play this game only to run into somebody else that wants the same class or we're both the same class and then one of us is going to have to force... Like, I don't... I don't like think that. anybody's going to have to change. If you have four, like, strikers or whatever they call them, then it's like you have four strikers. It's just you may Rangers. be... Or I don't know what the names are. I just said striker. Ranger, uh, Colossus, and Interceptor, and Storm. All right, there you go. So, I mean... If someone, yeah. everyone's the same class, you guys may have a disadvantage on the mission, or you may be okay. You never know. It's, it's like it's one of those things. And I think once people pick a class, they're probably gonna stick with it. Yeah, that's just what that's I think. normally how it is. I mean, but yeah, but that's just normally how it is. Whatever class you pick, that's the one that you're gonna stick to forever. Yeah. So that's why, like, I'll pick a class. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to play this, and then my friend would be like, no, I, I, I'll play this too. And I'm like, fuck. Like, well, then just anyways, play the same one. Who cares? Anyways, no loot boxes and no pay to win was like their big. Think about but that. yes, there are purchasables or yeah, consume it. Con- yeah, consume me. <laughs> There'll be things you can pay uh, money cosmetics. for. Cosmetics. There'll be things yeah. you can pay money. It's for. all cosmetic though, so that's that's yeah. the, the only announcement. Anyways, cool. Moving on. EA. EA is done. That's In EA. What ten uh, minutes or next so? Up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> EA. Uh, sorry, Xbox. Yep. Th- there's a lot of shit here too. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they had like fifty games, but a lot of them are just trailers. So, All right, so we'll we'll fucking just. But it was a two hour. List. It was a two hour show. Halo Infinite. Not the next Halo, like in the in the series of Halos, right? Well, it's not number six per se. Exactly. But, so it's not six. But they also Halo didn't Infinite. say when it takes place in the timeline. They didn't say much about it. However, right? It, could this be a Halo BR? No, hundred percent. Are not. you? Po- 100% know, positive. 100% positive. I've been, hearing, positive. I've been rumors. I've been hearing rumors. 100% positive. I'm, okay. Because look, they There's don't have sources. a release date for it. So why, like BR, That's, you don't know, really know what's going to happen with it. And they didn't even they give you like redefine a... redefine their own version of a BR. And this no. could be, I mean, why else would it be called Infinite? I, I'm just saying, be a little optimistic here. Be like, you know, throw me a bone, like feel it out. Optimism right? and agreeing with you about it being BR are two different <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, I'm feel, optimistic feel it that out. it won't be Think a BR. It. Think about it. And, you know, we'll let it marinate. We'll come back. <laughs> There's no need to let it marinate. You, anyone can quote me right now. This is, you know, middle of E3 2018. I'm saying Halo Infinite will not be a BR. Because he talked and about, Phil talked about, like, continuing Master Chief's story. It wasn't talking about, you know, large battles with 100 people. He didn't say anything like multiplayer. And none of that was in there. People? I don't, I, okay, anyway. I'm saying it's it's likely not going to be a BR only game. It's going to okay. be a story mode. That doesn't mean there won't be a BR mode, but it's going to be focused find it on Master Chief. That you're going to name this game Infinite and it's not Halo Six. That's all I'm trying to get. Why? At. And Why there are weird? multiple. There are multiple like insiders also saying could be a Halo BR. I'm Why just, is I that just want to point that out. Just I don't see the out. I don't see the connection between Infinite and BR. I don't get. Because it's, BR never ends. There's no like story. There's no. Okay. I mean, there is, but like not really. Like you could. It's it's open to interpretation. You know, like just look at uh, Fortnite. You know, the meteor, the fuck, like everybody, the aliens, like no. Nah. Everybody's making their own stories and shit. Who knows? Who nah. knows? That's nah. what I'm saying. Just let her marinate. No, they we'll talked see. about we'll, falling we'll Master Chief back. on a grand adventure. Or something. Da, 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 da. So be it. So, That's so everybody's a Master Chief. Not with BR. Anyways, uh, uh, Ori and Ori the Will the Wisps. The wisps. Yeah, was next. Wisps. wisps. Yeah. yeah, that comes out 2019. Release. Yeah. I I got nothing. I didn't play the original. I feel bad because I I, I well, it's, it's not on Game Pass, right? Game. I don't think so. Which is weird because it's a Microsoft be. published title. Will it be? I believe so. On and see uh, the little Game no. Pass logo I don't on remember. it. Yeah, that, you're right. Because they right. put the Game Pass logo on all the other games, the games that were going to yeah. have Game Pass. So. Uh, Sekiro, Shadow of 
Shadows Die Twice, yeah. 2019 release also. Um, I admit, I this is this. the first time you heard about that game, or it's the first time I heard it about it? It is the first time, yeah. It okay. looks cool. Right, well, it looks, basically, it looks, it's like a... It, listen, they didn't... It's just a trailer, so there's not yeah. much to go from. <laughs> but yeah. Hack and Slash, Adventure, Possible RPG is kind of what I wrote down as looks, what I think yeah. it is. Developed by From Software. Like a, so you kind of have an idea... From Software. So you kind of have an idea of the other stuff they've done. Published by Activision, and everyone probably has their opinion on uh, what Activision is doing. Exactly. So Fallout 76, right after that. Correct, correct. Um, more on that later. Right, once we get to Bethesda, because there's a yeah, whole we'll list get into of things that a little later. Um, that. But still fucking interested. Uh, Square Enix was there. I guess more on that also later. <laughs> Wait, where'd you go? Did I skip a few? I think you might have I'm on my own notes, so go for yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll interject real quick right after Sekiro. Because they, when Fallout 76, they showed the trailer at Xbox uh, thing. Basically, mm-hmm. they also, Todd Howard also announced that Fallout 4 is available on Game Pass that day. So now, basically. Not true. What do you mean? I went in last night and I tried downloading it and it wasn't there. Well, Vision also wasn't there, and that other game also wasn't there. Well, it's supposed to be. So anyway, I want to go through the list yeah. real quick on that, and what's also going to be added to Game Pass. So Fallout 4 should be on there. Crackdown 3, if it ever launches in the entire world, <laughs> it'll be on there. Uh, we'll get into Forza Horizon 4 later, but that should be on there. Halo Master Chief Collection is being added later this year. Ashen is going to be added. Warhammer. And this is Okay, so when the next four games release, they're not Microsoft Studios, like first-party titles. But they're going to be added to Game Pass the same day that they're released to everybody else. Yep. So Ashen, Warhammer, Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point. Those are all going to be like day one release on Game Pass. Then, as you mentioned, they're also supposed to add the Division 1 to Game Pass. And Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel, or whatever you say it, Unlimited. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, all the lore stuff. Just to be clear, those games weren't there last night. They, it, they, I went into the Xbox support Twitter, and they are fully aware. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so they're be, working it on it. on there now. Yeah. They just have some issues. That's yeah, all. No big cool. Deal. And then they went through Crackdown 3, just a trailer. Terry Crews was in it, or also known yeah. as Jackson in Crackdown 3, and we got February 29 release. Fucking excited. Kind of sometime oh, around I'm there. I'm so excited. Really? I can't wait. Oh. Every time I see something new from Crackdown, I'm... I'm going to say this right now. If there's, like, some sort of crazy limited edition, like, collector's edition type shit, might have to get it. I'm sure there will be. I might have to get it. So you're buying a physical copy? Mm. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never... Uh, if that's the only way I'm going to get some goodies, then uh, maybe. That's funny. What uh, about... We'll, we'll get into to. the Fallout one later, but I'm interested to yeah. see what you'll say oh, about that. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you now. No. No, you're not getting it? Or no, you can't deny it? <laughs> what the fuck it? I look like? No. The last time I bought a mask, it was a fucking Call of Duty we'll Modern Warfare 2. We'll, we'll, get, there. we'll yeah. get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, anyways, onwards. Yep. Go ahead. Um, Square Enix was next, right? Like yeah. Life is Strange universe thing? What's the uh, name? Uh, no. Was it? No. That was Captain some other Spirit? time in there. Was it? I don't know. My notes are a little a little jumbled, so you should you should carry. <laughs> um, how do they say like near automata? Is that how you say the first one? Oh yeah, near. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's how you wanted me to fucking. <laughs> so remastered version includes all DLC. I didn't get the full name of it though. It's like become as gods. gods edition. Yeah. And that comes out yeah. June twenty sixth. So a couple of weeks that comes out. Then I have. What did they talk about? Where was the? What's it called? The Metro Exodus Kingdom Hearts three is what I have here. Maybe they did put that there. Maybe I just forgot to write it down. So Metro the Exodus, well, the Adventures yeah. one. Oh, the uh, Captain Spirit. I must have forgot to write that down. Yeah. So here's the thing with Captain Spirit. It looks great. It, I mean, they showed it off at Square Enix. Uh, yeah, the Square Enix thing, and we'll get into that a little later. We just talk about it all right now and get out of the way. Um. So this look, it, the, the movie trailer, or sorry, the the trailer for this game looked a lot like a movie. Um, okay. When they're, it, it just reminded me of the Pixar movie, and as I'm watching it, I'm like, yeah, like I could watch an entire movie of this kid fucking <laughs> playing pretend. Like this is great. I love yeah. this. And the there was a quote that they had in the in the in the thing. It says, "We've all been we've all been children." Yeah. And the first thing that came to my mind is a conversation we had years ago, years ago when you first started clouded art. <laughs> oh my god. They're gosh. like, dude, like our minds change, man. When you get older, you don't see the stuff in the sky anymore. And you know what? It's kind of true. 
Yeah. So, anyways, so, uh, the game we didn't really play. explain what it's about. Yeah. Go Basically, for it. it's about a, a kid, a young boy, who uses his imagination to do things, and it's also set in the same universe that Life is Strange is set in. It's by the same developers. Don't nod. It's going to be available for PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. Basically, you're just gonna fall, or you're gonna play as this kid, and you're gonna be imaginative, and you're gonna fight monsters, and fly spaceships, and do all these things, but you're doing it with your imagination, not actually doing it. So because you're, yeah, you're just a kid, man. You're in yeah. a car, you're pretending it's a spaceship. Oh man, I thought it was a very adorable, like fucking trailer. Yep. Like the entire time, I'm like this is like this is a Pixar movie just waiting to happen. Yep, and he's his own superhero. He calls himself Captain Spirit, so that's why the game yep. is called The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. It's free for everybody, June 26, June 26. 2018. So again, a couple of weeks, uh, it's coming out, and I'm definitely yep. going to be downloading that and trying it out. Oh, 100 percent, I'm in. And they said if you've already played Life is Strange, this contains secrets for the next Life is Strange. So Life is Strange 2 is going to come out at some point, and this contains like some you know foreshadowing, some insight into what's going to hmm. be in the next Life is Strange. Uh, that's interesting, man. Good for them. Yeah, definitely. So that was cool. Uh, gosh, um, Metro Exodus was, yeah, obviously there. I have nothing on that. I literally, it just a blank line. Again, <laughs> February 22nd, 2019, another game on oh that day. My God. So if, if everything holds up, it looks like we have um, Anthem. February is going to be stacked. Anthem, Days Gone, possibly Crackdown 3 on the day is kind of the rumor day in February. And Metro Exodus. There's no, I don't see these four games coming out on the same day. Something has to get moved. I think they all got to get moved because um, <laughs> that's that's no, pretty man. insane. I mean, Give Anthem me is probably down in January, please. Yeah, Anthem is probably the biggest one. Then Metro Exodus is probably the next biggest. Days Gone and Crackdown Three, I would think, is kind of. Well, I know Crackdown Three, Days Gone probably tied. Depends. Days Gone, new IP. Anyways, um, that's the whole thing. Kingdom Hearts Three, first time on Xbox, January release. I could not be. Yep more excited dude. january 29th I, as soon as i saw this my heart just fucking fell dude I oh the place so went mad. crazy so like i i, I bet i was there That's right. you were there yeah i was there the place went crazy um it was nuts yeah i so. oh man my like as soon as i saw it i was like no <laughs> like this this like i and i was telling people like prior like nothing they can announce at this convention is going to make me feel uh, like surprised or anything like right. that because almost everything like all of the titles that we've been talking about we have seen or known or it's just not all that interesting well we knew about kingdom hearts Kingdom Hearts 3 we knew about it i just had no idea it was going to come out on xbox exactly and yeah. now it is that was so a big surprise exciting. that was a big surprise so i think that was probably the biggest surprise of microsoft's show would you say so um yeah i'd agree with that yeah i'm um, looking down my list and yep 100 percent, i would agree with that other than the last thing but we'll get into that yeah exactly <laughs> they covered Sea of Thieves next. They kind of get a roadmap for future DLC. Curse Sales comes out July. Forsaken Shores Forsaken comes out Shores. September. Great that's titles, really, too, by the way. Yeah, that's about it for up. that. <laughs> they gave a quick Battlefield Five trailer. Who cares? Right. Forza Horizon 4. They actually dived more deep into that than I wish they would have, um, but they spent quite a bit of time on that. Comes out October 2nd. Also, as we mentioned earlier, available on Game Pass the same day that it comes out for everybody else. And I think I'm yep. definitely going to be hopping into Forza Horizon 5 or 4. I'll play it just because of Game Pass. Right, exactly. Um, I have the first one. Like, I bought Forza Horizon, and it's a great game. I think game. I, s I even mailed you a copy of my Forza. No, mistake. that was uh, Forza three, two? two or three. Three? Three, three, four. Oh, and it came with Pure. <laughs> three or four. You sent me one of those. I don't remember which one. But anyways. Um, um, seasons. That's all I got to say. Seasons changed. I don't know if they – I don't – Synchronized for every so, player, and I thought that was cool. Yeah, so what happened is I rewatched. Okay, I was at the conference in person, and then I rewatched it, but I think I skipped through the whole Horizon part because I already knew everything about it. It was a really <laughs> yeah. long part on the replay. But tell me, so when I was there, l when he said, like, the season changes to autumn, leaves started falling from the ceiling in the theater. I don't know if they showed that on the stream or not. They did. They did? Yeah, I thought that was crazy. I was like, there's leaves falling. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's still, like, like, the kids kept falling? <laughs> there's so many leaves? I was like, this is nuts. It kind of blew my mind. Um, You're like, where's the snow? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I was like, where's everything else? But it was like, so shit, cool. they're going to make it rain in here? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> I wasn't, so I don't, I'll, we'll explain the whole thing later, but I wasn't close we'll enough get to that. get leaves on me. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, the seasons change. I think what they're going to do, though, is, you know, usually when seasons and, and times of day change in a video game, it's pretty quick. Like, mm -hmm. if you're playing for 30 minutes or an hour, you'll you probably play through all. an entire day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And if you play for a few hours, you're probably going to experience a few seasons. Yeah. But I felt, because it seems like they're focusing more... Right now in Horizon, most of the other cars in the world are AI-controlled cars. Mm-hmm. And you can race with them, you can do other stuff with them. But they said for Horizon 4, every car you, you see is going to be a person. And they didn't really give a how large this is going to so get. Much. But yeah. if I had to guess, I would say, depending on the size of the world, anywhere from 50 to 100 people probably yep that would be my guess and so basically oz you can be off on the dunes racing and i can be over in the forest racing and you know somebody else we know can be doing something else or people we don't know could be off doing a completely different race and then you can meet up if you want and race together correct yeah so it seems to me like the seasons are going to be long though like a month or two months will be like the mm. summer season and then we're going to get into the mean. fall and i and i think because it seemed like there's because he said there's events tied to every season so that means yeah. they have to have enough time for people to complete the events. That's so, it, you know, right now we have seasons for, like, ranked play on games. So, like, Gears has seasons. Rainbow Six yeah. Siege has seasons. Like, they all have seasons. Like, oh, even Fortnite has seasons, right? Yeah. But I think this is going to be seasons, like, the same time periods for whatever those are. Three months, four months, or whatever it is. It's normally three months. Yeah. yeah. But it's going to be, like, this is summer season. This is fall. This is spring. This is winter. That's interesting. Yeah, so I think that's really kind of how that, that one's going to... That yeah. does make sense. Too. Yeah. Anyways, that was Forza Horizon 4. So then Microsoft pulled out their big ol' and then uh, decided to buy everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Undead Labs acquired by Microsoft. Ninja Theory, Compulsion Games, and Playground Games, all acquired by Microsoft. Yeah, and they created what a new the studio fuck? called The Initiative. So The Initiative, yeah. That's a new studio. Yeah. What? Like, I... To me, the the biggest one out of that is Ninja Theory. Really? Yeah. Oh well, because they they've worked on uh on um DMC and most of those are always been like no Ninja Theory is uh Senua Sacrifice Hellblade, um okay which I haven't played yet but I really want to uh Enslaved Odyssey to the West, which is one of my favorite story games like of all time, might be my favorite story game of all time. And they also did Heavenly Sword, which I haven't played, but it got kind of bad reviews. But it was. It I don't was know still if you heard this, hyped. but so Playground Games supposedly is working on the new Fable. Is that what it's the rumor is? Because that's the they kind of teased. That's been really. So supposedly, this rumor started up a while ago, and now with Microsoft acquiring them, kind I don't want to say it steam. confirms it, but it picked up. Yeah, it picked up again. So that rumor is floating around again. Uh, and in uh, one of the con- one of the uh, the little interviews that that was going on, they were being asked like, "Hey, is this true?" And it's like, "Oh, no comment, no comment." Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Phil Spencer. They're working on a game, so. Yeah, Phil Spencer mentioned they're working on a game, and we hear more about yep. it later. And he also said it's an open world game. So I just thought it was going to be another racing game. Mm. I was thinking maybe reviving PGR, Project Gotham Racing. I don't know mm. if you remember that series from the original Xbox. I do. Even I 360 remember. had two PGR games. They had three and four on 360. That was also a very annoying arcade game. <laughs> Did they have an arcade game? What I do you mean? believe so, yeah. What do you mean? Like a like an actual arcade. Oh, really? They had a PGR arcade? I believe so. I huh. think I remember seeing it. Anyways. Anyways that yeah. was by... Um, gosh, what was their names? The guys that do... Uh, Blur and Geometry Wars, the original Geometry Wars. Uh, Bizarre. Uh, biz- Bizarre. That was, was the name of the developers. Oh, yeah. Like was they, it? yeah, Bizarre. Bizarre I, Creations. I remember some pumpkin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Bizarre Creations. <laughs> they did original PGR, they did PGR 1, 2, 3, 4, they did Geometry Wars, and then they did Blur, and that was the last game their studio did, and then they closed R. down. R.I.P. Blur, man. Yeah. Still one of the greatest. Yep. Um, Compulsion PUBG? Games is interesting. Oh, well, sorry. Yeah, no, it's, yep. it's all good. I just want to go more about the Dead Bio real quick. Compulsion sure. Games is interesting, but I'm a little bit afraid because we've both played We Happy Few. I mean, we played earlier versions of it, and We Happy Few comes out August 10th for anybody interested. Um, I'm definitely going to go back. I still have the you know early access version on Steam or whatever, so I'm going to go mm-hmm. and play that. I am not. But... <laughs> for reasons we've discussed in the past. Right, and that's what I'm afraid of because... Like, Microsoft hasn't, I don't think they've had too much involvement with We Happy Few. Correct. Because I mean, it's published by Gearbox. That they're going to. I have a feeling they're going to get heat if We Happy Few does back. Because it'll be like, oh, you guys just bought the studio. Da, 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 yeah. da. Um, I think it's more of a what's to come type situation. I know, I agree with that too. But I just feel like they might catch some blame if We Happy Few isn't that great. 
That's all. We'll see, and that's that would be sad if that's the case. If they let him go, like for the I don't think they, I don't like, think they'll let him go because I'm pretty sure the game they looks have, great though, man. That new like the trailer, thing? yeah, it does look good. That's why I want to hop back in and play and see what's changed. I, I've so. already committed of, on waiting until a full release. Like that's sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm hopping in and playing. I want to try it. Nah, so go, yeah. go for it. I it's it's a great game. I just ran into a game breaking bug that made, yeah we like, talked about no, that. No, I'm good. Drill cast. Not gonna happen. Just search yep. drill cast. We happy few. It'll be on there somewhere. Yep. Be yeah. there. Uh, Anyways, so PUBG. Yep. Uh, summer 2018. So winter. summer this year, we get winter. a new map. Winter. Oh, summer we get a new map. It said winter though. Yeah. 2018. Oh, win- like so final. winter is a new mode, I believe. Oh, okay. It's called War Mode. I don't know. I, 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 I PUBG. Don't. Right. Don't really. Anyways, PUBG updates coming this year to Xbox. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tales of Vesperia remastered, definitive edition. I think is what they're calling it. Winter of 2018. Yep. Division two. Okay. Yep. I want to I want to just pause here real quick and we'll we'll skip division on 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 uh Ubisoft, Ubisoft. okay? Yeah. So, because I'm pretty sure it was more of the same bullshit. Um it was a little different one but it's pretty much one same. of the greatest fucking trailers I have ever seen early on. So, it's it's playing and they're dude, it just sold me. I was so in when they were like uh the nation is falling and this and that like that whole trailer. I was like, dude, this like holy sh like what game is this? <laughs> you know? And then I see the division logo and I'm like You didn't know it was wow. a division? I had no fucking idea. Oh, no I knew. clue. Yeah. I called no it. No clue. Yeah. The red and the, all the, all this shit going down. I was like, wow, like this looks so fucking good. I was like, damn. Division two, pre order. I'm in. You know? <laughs> I was sold. And then you go into the fucking gameplay trailer with the scripted bullshit that well, they, it, they did the same thing for division one like the same time they did the same play. thing for division one okay yeah. I, I i i understand that 100 percent. okay i'm not benefit saying of it's good doubt. or bad i'm just saying they just did the same thing benefit of a doubt because it was the first time i had ever seen something like that now that we're now that i'm used to seeing this this shenanigans <laughs> scripted co-op <laughs> i instantly was turned off by this game that's funny. <laughs> repulsed repulsed if i may say i have i don't want it it looks great it actually here let me clarify it looks like the division one with no snow i'm done (laughs) 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 Um, Uh, for anyone interested though (laughs) march 15th 2019 is when the division two comes out if you're interested in beta the division game.com slash beta is where you want to go and they are going to what they added is a couple things in the Ubi conference that they didn't talk about Microsoft. So I'm just going to cover those quick since we're in the sure. topic. Eight players can team up for the end game. So basically oh. they're going to have raids. They nice. say they're going to have multiple years of frequent content updates and they already laid out what's going to happen in 2019. The so, later years of division one were better than the early years of division one. Let me just say that. And I'll, 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 I'll st- uh, it's not a bad game. Okay, so, I'm yeah. only shitting on it because it it's more of the same shit, and I'm I'm good. Right. Well, they said they learned a lot from the Division One, so maybe good. this one won't be as bad. It'll Anyways, still be three episodes anyways. are launching in 2019 that are gonna cover um, new stories, new areas to explore, and new activities. Each one of those is gonna. They didn't really go into much detail, but they said, "Hey, we're launching three throughout 2019." So the game comes out 2019, and three content packs, basically all free coming out 2019 also so it seems like they're putting a lot more behind it and also communicating better like hey updates are coming because i feel like for games sea of thieves and division one and maybe even destiny one like it it was pretty much like oh i've done this stuff now what do i do and the developers weren't really ready with their plan to like announce it so i feel like now it's better that you know we already talked about sea of thieves announcing their content pretty much at the end of the year and Division 2 is already giving you an idea, hey, we're doing this the first year of the game's out. And Six Siege, Rainbow Six Siege, also kind of did the same thing. We go on that later. But, I mean, that's the whole thing. So, you know. Cool. Yeah. We're not going to get through everything today. <laughs> I just there's realized. A, there's, yeah, there's we're going to finish Microsoft, and that's probably about it, because we're already at we're 51 at an minutes. Hour. Yeah. And, yeah, this is crazy. Okay. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was next. They just showed a trailer, September 14, 2018, which I think was announced prior to the show for the release date. Comes out Skate then. Four was next after that. <laughs> what was? <laughs> Skate Four. <laughs> oh, did so I miss that in sessions. the sessions? Sessions, yeah, I missed that in the yeah. in my rewatching of it. Yeah, that's right. What do you think so about that? Because you played, didn't you they play look, Skate or something like I, that? I fucking lo- yeah, dude. They, uh, everybody played Skate. You didn't play Skate. I didn't play Skate. No. Oh man, it's such a fun game, and it just it was good, man. So, 
Uh, Sessions was announced. Everybody's just going to call it Skate 4. I don't know why. Right. <laughs> but it's not by EA. Who it's was not, it by? Yeah, correct. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's it's some new company. It's like Play something. I forget. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I I figure like that's gonna fill a void because everybody wants skate. Even when I was watching the EA conference, all the chat was like skate four, skate four, skate four, yep. skate four. That's all they were doing. <laughs> they were spamming that. So I think uh, session's gonna fill like a pretty solid void. Um, and it could could be a really for that genre. And there there yeah. is definitely a market for that. One hundred percent. This oh, game is needed. Yeah. One hundred percent. And nothing's been filled in that genre for a long time. Yep. So anyways, Black Desert. Black Desert. Yep. Um, I actually had a tweet about this. Okay. Uh, Black Desert Online has been on PC for a while now, right? And it's one of those games that I've, I've, I want to play really bad, but I know that my addictive personality is gonna get stuck playing this game, and RuneScape I'll status. never play anything else. Yeah. Oh, one hundred. <laughs> it will be RuneScape status. It will be Final Fantasy Eleven status, where I didn't even go to school some days because I, I was <laughs> oh just up gosh. all night playing. I, it will be Rocket League status where I just called out of work because I fucking just stood up way too late. Like, it will <laughs> legitimately Stupid, be <laughs> a problem. So, no, I am good. I'm All in right. a place in my life where I cannot afford to do that. However, it looks fucking phenomenal, and it's coming out on Xbox. So, if you do uh, play it, enjoy it. If you do Don't have a place cries. in your life for it, Beta Fall 2018 <laughs> is, is what you got to look for. Yeah. Yep. Devil May Cry 5, Spring 2019. One thing that this game has is, Dante um, is back. or sorry, Dante is back. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is that uh, Devil May Cry trailers have always had is great fucking music. They just hype you up so well. In yeah, the, the trailer was really amazing. Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, and Cuphead returns. Wait, do you have more on that? I was gonna say, in since I was there, everyone was going nuts too because oh, they hype. cut off the <laughs> audience during like during the trailer. So yeah. when you're streaming it, you don't hear everybody, but like. When the Devil May Cry logo came up on the side of the van, the place went went crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it it was nuts. So uh, everyone was surprised for that. That was cool. So, uh, Cuphead returns, including Miss Chalice, uh, yep. new playable character, DLC, the Delicious Last Course, twenty nineteen exactly. release. It's DLC, right? Just to clarify, um, it was it didn't seem like it, but I wasn't uh, I'm not sure. It is. I'm unsure. Okay. Yeah, uh, I kind of right. agree with you. But it could be because it said Cuphead in the Delicious Last Course. Yeah, so okay. so to me that uh, means so like it has to be Cuphead yeah. starring. But also the whole game has been like Cuphead starring in, I mean, kind of sort of that yeah. old movie vibe. So mm -hmm. don't know if it's a new. Well, game they also or not. said ad they're adding new worlds to the game. So like it has to be DLC. Anyways, we'll see. Anyways, uh, that's another game that's not on Game Pass. Ironically, yeah, that I just it realized. Really should be. Yeah, because I would play if it was on Game Pass. <laughs> it's a fucking great game. Uh, uh, Tunic, but, huh? it's very fun, dude. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tunic, Legend of Zelda, basically <laughs> wearing or as a tiny fox. <laughs> yeah, and it's by a, um, a single developer, so like one guy. Uh, how the fuck this game. doesn't violate like uh, copyright rules is beyond me. Oh my anyways, gosh, you're such a hater. I'm, it, it was, no, I'm it such was, a I'm such a passionate lover of all things Legend of Zelda. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're a hater. My love. <laughs> you're a hater of anything that's <laughs> not Zelda. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah. Anyways, it does look interesting. They didn't give any details on yeah. release date or anything else like that, but very um, cute top down hack and slash. I'll fucking say it. It, it looks great. I'm. I'm yeah. Keep an eye out for that. Definitely keep an eye out for that one. The next one fucking threw me way off course. I had no uh, clue either. Bandai Namco. Yeah. Crossover. They started it off with Naruto, then you see Luffy from One Piece, and then you see, insert name here, from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a DBZ fan, I'm sorry. Um, Jump Force, man, holy fuck. All these licenses basically just teaming up to fucking looks, save the world. It looked nuts, they, yeah. It looked insane. And yeah. then at the end, you have the Shinigami with fucking L just standing in the building with the, the little teaser, Death Note. Yep. Come on, bro. I know you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I mean, I was there. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the characters intimately, but even I was like, hey, this is kind of interesting, you know? Yo, I'm probably not going to play that's but... For anybody that's, in, that, that's a fan of, like, Shonen Jump type shit, like, all oh, this, like, that. yeah. This is a must get. So I Jump agree. Force, look out for it. It looks amazing. Twenty nineteen, um, but no, no quarter. No one. official. We don't know yeah. exactly when, but sometime next year for that one. Um, uh, <laughs> Dying Light two, more of the same. Yes. Uh, no. Yes and no. So it's funny okay. when I first <laughs> the trailer started out and they showed. I forget what it was. It was like something yeah. though, and I was like, this looks really familiar. Like I've played this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, I think me and Oz played this. And they went going on and on. I'm like, oh, the same. I'm like, I know this game. Like, I know it really well. And I was like, is this Dying Light? I'm like, no, it can't be. And then it came Dying Light too. And I was like, oh my gosh, no way. Yep. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, more of the same, but but the whole decision system seems very like laid it's out. It's more planned out. And it's a story built off of decision making, which I thought was, was great. Uh, so, no, I mean, it's still more of the same gameplay, but whatever. Right. Well, they said they improved, like, the parkour and improved yeah. a lot of, like, what was in the first which game they said they improved on. Yeah. It, it wasn't bad, but it's nice. It wasn't bad, but it. it definitely, it was a little clunky. Um, yeah. 100%. It wasn't, it wasn't solid and it wasn't fluid, I guess. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it, it looks great. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm, I'm real sure quick, so. just to cover the example they show, because they won, like, a 10 minute presentation on this thing. Um, say there is a there's a group of people who control the water in the city and this other group the peacekeepers told you to go basically kill them so the peacekeepers can take control of the water in the city so you're kind of like contracted to do that and you have two choices this is just one of the many choices you can make by the way but this is the one they give an example of you can either kill the guys that the peacekeepers told you to and then a certain result happens basically peacekeepers take control of the water the city flourishes people have water they're happy but how the peacekeepers keep control is that they kind of like beat people up. They're a little bit strict, you know, they're not like the nicest peacekeepers in the, you know, that you would think the title yeah. would suggest. Or you can make a, a deal with the, with the quote unquote bad guys and you can become part of like the illegal water trade. So you can start trading water on the black market. Black market. And the, the trade off is your people aren't beat up by the peacekeepers because they basically don't have control of the but water. They're also doing some illegal shit. Right. <laughs> But you also get access to, like, a lot of new stuff. Like, you have more money, you have more access to stuff, but also it brings in, like, a worse group of people. So the city stays... It, yeah, instead of it just being, like, ruined, it becomes, like... Or instead of it being bad, it becomes ruined, I guess you could say. It becomes, like, even Very, a worse uh, city. Venezuela-ish. Sure, I guess that's a... You know, what's funny is that a lot of games this year are focusing on, like, an apocalypse or some moment in time that's, like, changing the world. I feel the like way, that was a yeah. pretty common theme from throughout I mean, everything yeah like the division dying light 2 i mean there's a few others that i think we talked about um just that whole scenario it seems like it's a pretty common yeah. one right now fallout is, i mean fallout's fallout, fallout. obviously oh, yeah. it focuses on that sure. but still you know same thing there's a lot of games that kind of did that which i thought was interesting that's the definitely the i think we thought battle royale was going to be the the common theme and so far yeah. i think it's like apocalypse <laughs> like the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the world <laughs> yeah so I, uh, it's kind of interesting anyways dying light 2 you can do all that yeah no you skipped one. Oh, did i you skipped battle ba toads battle toads oh okay yeah. i have them flipped that's why so oh, okay yeah i didn't know which one came first because i pee break that caught me by surprise uh, i didn't even know that i was like i had no um, clue what it was gonna be come on man it's a fucking logo like anyways onward. right they didn't show anything uh the, you know what it was a couch teaser, co yeah and you're not gonna see anything else from it no, three-player couch co-op, hand-drawn, 4K, 2.5D graphics. That's about all you got. And a 2019 release date sometime in that year. So, uh, Sure, whatever. Yep, yep. <laughs> fan, they're just doing fan service at that point, at this point. For I that. mean, we'll see. It might be, might be fun. It might not be good. Uh, okay, yeah, hopefully it's fun because I remember about it. Too. Anyways, Just yep. Cause 4 this year, release. Yeah, December right? 4th, 2018. December, yeah. Yes. Uh, we talked about that earlier. Uh, Did we? I guess, kind of. Uh, No. Go for it. Uh, I mean, it's just I have, cause. I really do, yeah, I don't really have anything. It's Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's just cause. Whatever you're used to from just cause. Oh, we did talk about it because just cause 3 was on uh, We just talked about that. Your deals. That was on the deal. Yeah, basically, yeah. They're, adding <laughs> they're adding extreme weather. So there's going to be tornadoes, lightning, sandstorms, and blizzards. So this is from the Square Enix cons, uh, preferent, or conference, whatever. Conference, yeah. So we'll skip that, which we're but not going to get preference. to today. <laughs> yeah, I kind of speak. <laughs> <laughs> Press or comfort? <laughs> yeah, one of those Anyways. things. Anyways, um, they overhaul all the vehicles. You can also use bulldozers or wrecking balls. You can transport your cars. You can have a jet ski and a micro jet. So it's kind of like a, a Saints Row, but even crazier on the vehicle side, it seems like. Yeah. They, add, they had a grapple feature in Just Cause 3, but they've kind of fleshed that out. So... You can have more tethers. You can also have booster rockets and airlifters. So basically what they showed is I can tether like a bunch rockets. of stuff to a car. Yeah, so I can yeah. basically add balloons, like hot air balloons, but not hot air balloons. There's like helium balloons, gigantic helium balloons to a car. And then I can boost it up and the car can be flying, kind of, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, and you yeah. put rockets behind it and you propel forward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so you can do all that. Uh, they also said each enemy has unique abilities and advanced, advanced UI. So instead of facing like... 
30 billion of the same enemy type or three different enemy types 100 billion times whatever you want to talk about it yeah, they supposedly they vary them a lot more and they have more unique abilities where it's like okay i have to kind of focus on defeating this guy than this one and that one's kind of what they they did and then they talked about their apex engine saying it has unparalleled draw distance which would be important for an open world game like just cause 4 so yep. that was really it for just cause just cause gears five man well wow gears pop gears tactics gears. and gears five three new gears games three new gears games uh so all right i don't know how how do you even want to start with just this. go in order just go in order gears pop is a mobile game ios and android going to come out 2019 they didn't really show much about it but i mean you kind of get the idea of mobile game it's out of time gears experience by the yeah. way so there's no timeline or anything like that right. uh gears ta wait what was next gears, gears tactics tactics. C tactics was next um 12 years before the original Gears of War um, Is that story? what it was? I don't know. What yep. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, will release on PC. Mm -hmm. Turn-based strategy. Turn-based strategy and developed in partnership with one of our good old buddies, uh, Splash Damage. And I cool. say good buddies because I fucking loved uh, Brink. Yeah, you did. I did. I have one of my favorite games. Yep. Yeah, it's oddly okay. enough, and, and everybody hated it, but I loved it. Anyways, I didn't. I didn't hate it. I mean, we played a lot uh, of it. it. Yeah, I definitely played a lot of it. Yeah. Um. So I'm. Um, I don't know, man. It's turn based, so I'm kind of not interested. But it's last damage, so I gotta support it. We'll see. <laughs> and it's yeah. also PC, so maybe I'm, I'm it'll end up on Game Pass. I don't know. And I don't if it's think on Game so, Pass, but exactly. if it is, that'd be really nice. That would be. Then lovely. they jumped. What in is the on Gear Pass, <laughs> or should be on Gear Pass? It, game Pass, not Gear Pass. <laughs> yeah, Gear, Gears Pass. <laughs> Gears 5. Gears 5 with, will be on Game Pass, correct. With when? Kate as your lead character. She was the lead character in 4 anyway, let's be honest. Uh, she yeah. was the lead character in 4. Sure. I mean, they they try to play off like the JD story, was the lead character, yeah. but it was Kate's story. The entire game was Kate's story. Yeah, 100%. So this Gears is, 4. I guess, more on that. Yeah, it's continuing her journey. Basically, I don't want to spoil Gears 4, but let's just say at the end of Gears 4, Kate holds something and they take that now and run with it. And if you watch the trailer for Gears 5, it's going to spoil Gears 4. So I don't know. It's up to oh, you. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that. I'll leave that up to whoever wants to spoil it for themselves oh. or not. But basically, if you haven't played Gears 4 yet or if you want to, make sure you do before you watch the trailer for Gears 5 because it's going to spoil the entire game. And for me, the ending of Gears 4 was it i was like whoa that's crazy it kind of i was like well, yeah it was yeah. it's a definitely a wow moment uh yeah. in in that that whole franchise like storyline like, correct yeah, i was i was impressed correct um so yeah i mean 2019 probably it's gonna probably quarter three quarter four ish sometime right they didn't give us an exact date but yeah, knowing gears i would i would put it Q4. it's gonna be yeah a late late year release late so. release yeah um, I really, honestly, I don't even want to get into any any gear stuff. It, we've killed well, that was gears. it. I mean, that was it. There's, yeah, there, there wasn't much to it. There's really not much yeah. to it. And um, then, actually, Gears well, Five beforehand, older, way older, right? Like they're older characters. Everyone's now? older, yeah. So Kate's older. She actually looks more like her mom, which I find kind of kind of weird. Because um, I mean, she wasn't that young in the first one. That's true. Um, but the so other thing, four and four. was that Marcus in the background at one point? Mark, no, Marcus is in the trailer. Like he talks to Kate directly. Yeah, okay. So I wanted to point something out real quick. Yeah. J D looks way older than Marcus. <laughs> he does. Something happened. I don't know what happened to J D, but he has like a fat I, scar on his face. Um he has so a beard. I'm like, yeah, well like what like he grandpa like, over here. He's kinda of balding. Like, yeah. It's funny, like, I mean Marcus like dad yeah, Dad Marcus. Marcus and Marcus yeah. has no beard. He's looking young. I'm like, yo, okay then, Marcus Phoenix, Dad, bud, yeah. kicking ass, man. Yeah, Marcus right. definitely aged in four, but he doesn't look <laughs> like he's he aged more. Age. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird how that works out. Everyone he passed looks it on to his son. <laughs> yeah, everyone else looks extremely different, but Marcus, and yeah. I don't understand so, that. Which I'm, I, I should. So it's funny after the <laughs> okay. I don't want to get too much in the conversation. I want to get into it later, like my personal yeah. experience, but. I don't know many people in the gaming industry, but somehow I cross paths with almost everybody that I know that <laughs> or like, or that I would know, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> so this girl who works for Xbox, I met her at Comic-Con, her name's Nicole, and I crossed paths with her, like some, like we came out of the conference and somewhere we're both standing next to each other, just randomly. I mean, there's oh, 3000 wow. people or more in this thing and we'd cross paths, Small right? World, man. I'm hanging out for a little bit. I'm reading articles. I'm kind of watching what's going on outside the conference. And then I'm walking back to my car. I'm going to go home. So I have, you know, two-hour drive or whatever. And out from the back, like the outside. So outside of the theater, but they have like another fenced-off area where like the staff and stuff were at. So out of that, 
walks Rod Ferguson, like, right next to me. Rowdy Rod. Yeah, and I'm just like, just the, the randomness of this whole day. I mean, I'll go into more when we actually talk about it, but mm-hmm. it was just crazy how many times I crossed paths with people. Like, thousands of people are here, but I happened to stop bump into. to say hi to Rod? No, I didn't. He, okay. like, I saw him, and I was, I like, six feet away from him, and I was going to say, like, Rod, great show or something. But before yeah. I did, like, someone else started talking to him. You know what I mean? So Where, I don't. I would not give a fuck. By, by the way, <laughs> what? I'd be like, hey, Rod, great. Like I would just walk up to him. I mean, like, hey, I've seen Rod anyway. Him? Like I saw him at Comic Con again. And I was just, you know, and I talked to him then, stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. Remember, so I you, talked about you've that. talked to him in the past. And like, if it was the other way, like if I see somebody and I don't know, like I haven't talked to you in the past, like I will make sure I go oh. and talk to you. Yeah. Right. No, I've talked to a lot of these people. That's what I'm saying. Like people that I've I've interacted so with, I've, I kept though. running into in at this <laughs> event, and I just thought that was kind of ironic. Anyways, back to the Microsoft show. Two things they covered real quick. They, or they try to give a glimpse of the future. So they're like, hey, people at Microsoft are working on Microsoft AI, and somehow we're going to integrate that in our games. They didn't talk about how. They also said that we're working on a streaming service, which doesn't surprise me because everybody else is too. But mm-hmm. we'll get, like I said, we should have an episode about streaming services and streaming subscription services and all that. Yeah. We'll Definitely. get into that. And then I'll let, I'll let you take this one away because I have a feeling you're so probably pretty excited about this. The last fucking game that was on here had okay the, i i don't even know i had no idea that like nobody really knew anything about like this game i don't think anybody like, knew they, anything about this game. i didn't there i mean so I there were some clue. teases there were okay. some teases they were they were talking about it whatever but no no visuals no nothing holy fuck cyberpunk 2077 so do you know why they got that title 2077 no i don't so it took them uh 2077 days to come up with their first like actual visual of this game really apparently like not actual visual but like like act, like this is like they figured it out on this day all right well real quick it's, it's by supposedly is the story cd Pro- cd project red who you would know from the witcher from the franchise. witcher right who for some odd reason i walked into like two of the dudes from <laughs> cd project red at pax i'm like hey i know you guys They're like yeah cd project red. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> like I- i'm playing your game right now the yeah. Witcher. like it was the weirdest thing anyways like I, they, they just had that like vibe like i know you but i don't know you how i know you you know and i just mm-hmm. had to ask and they're like yeah we met like you know, anyways whatever onwards yeah um cyberpunk 2077 i cannot fucking wait this game basically looks like The Witcher 3, which, okay, don't get me wrong, is a great game. I, I just couldn't invest a lot of time into it because I don't really like all of the, like, old school, like, me, like I like medieval type stuff, but I like, like, sh- like Shadow of War type medieval stuff, not, like, real life medieval stuff. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, I understand. So, okay, so I just want to clarify that. Um, but The Witcher 3 basically revamped into like this i don't know what would you call it like a i would call it cyberpunk a, a, yeah cyberpunk um <laughs> i mean like uh, uh what's the name of the movie uh uh, uh fucking you're thinking it just of. came out oh i know what you're thinking of oh, it's funny because i know it's like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's but, basically blade runner like all of this shit just put into a video game and i i'm i'm so in but the way so at the beginning of the the thing they like teased it um, with like glitches and all sorts of shit, and I know you noticed the codes. You know, did you notice the codes? I mean, I didn't see them. Okay, so what happened? Phil okay, Spencer you were kind of talking. <laughs> yeah, Phil Spencer was talking, and he was basically like wrapping up the show, and yeah. he gets interrupted. Like everything kind of glitches out, and he, I knew immediately it was something like some announcement. I knew it wasn't just like something wrong. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, you know, and then it goes into like somebody looking through a directory on a computer, like oh da da da, type this in, username red. So you kind of had an idea. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, so you got an idea. Then they do a list, and then they run, like, E3 trailer, whatever, you know? And then the so, trailer begins. In between, So there is so much information in that little clip that you just explained in five seconds. Yeah. There was so much information buried within it. Have you been, um, like, are you, like, going through Reddit or something? Or, like, people just like so, this? Or what? What's going on? I So th- I noticed maybe two things. But I didn't look into it, and then I went into Reddit to find, like, to to, yeah. to fine tune my my findings. <laughs> right, right. When in doubt, Reddit. <laughs> exactly. Um. So I saw the codes, but the thing is, I was having dinner, right, and I'm watching E3 on my phone at this. Oh point. my gosh! I'm sorry. While I'm eating, oh yeah, I'm sorry to my wife. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry too. <laughs> um, but I noticed the codes, and I was like, "Fuck!" If I was on the computer, I could have redeemed one of these. Like, no oh really? Problem. Dude, there was like 
uh, one, two, three, four, like six or maybe nine uh, Xbox codes. And I can tell from the rip that these were Xbox codes. The second I like found a, a stream that I could pause the video on. Yeah. I are, like it was already like five minutes later. <laughs> Already, all of them were taken. Like I go on Reddit and they're like, they like, "Don't even for? try." Like they're all taken. Yeah. So it was for a full copy of The Witcher Three Wild Hunt game plus expansion pass. Oh, that's so cool. It basically, yeah, man. I was like, dude, that is great. Like they're they're you know doing some real great fan service and and pumping out you know keys and hiding stuff in the in their videos. So that that's literally how it opened. And then I noticed something. There was like numbers and like questions, but it kind of faded away with the glitch effect. So somebody literally like took a screen, like a screenshot of it, put it, made it black and white and then inverted the colors. And you, it's gotcha. basically a, a fucking word, a notepad document <laughs> of like notes. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah, it's basically just like a, like a four question Q and a, um, and they have, okay, I'm just going to run, run by it real quick. Um, it's not a lot. So, it was four questions. The first one, and I'm it, I'm I'm speaking verbatim, like just to to kind of get this out of the way. But so no release date. The size of the game, it's big. <laughs> That's like on there. That's it's what it big. says, like that. That's it, yeah, it's something like that. It's okay. in, along along these lines. It just says big. Uh, free DLC, uh, free exp or free DLC slash expansion, 100% DRM free on PC, and then it says microtransactions question mark, and then they reply in a single RPG. Are you crazy? <laughs> or are you nuts? Is what they said exactly. It says, are you nuts? That's fine. Uh, and then on the bottom it says, visit cyberpunk.net and share your opinions. Cool. Um, so for all of this, and there's all of that information, and obviously there's all of the, the command prompt information, like all of that gives you some news too. Um, like somebody said, okay, if this is the E3 trailer, does that mean, and there was two more options underneath there were, it. There yeah. They're like, does this mean that there are two more trailers that are going to be like, what are these two? Right, because I think there was another the E3 one listed on there too, wasn't there? Because one was this I, E3 trailer. I think one said E3 trailer final. I, I should have paused it and looked at it more, but yeah, I, I didn't. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't really bother. Yeah. But basically, there's, there's, there's at least two more underneath the one that they picked. So two more before release. Who knows? I, I don't know. But, uh, man, this game, it just looks so fucking pretty, too, man. I cannot wait. I'm excited. Well, I mean, there's no gameplay. This. It's not even, like, in-engine footage. But, I mean, but it whatever look that good gameplay was. And, yeah, it looks fun. All right, sorry. Whatever this this was, it, it just looks fucking phenomenal. I think everyone is definitely interested. I'll put it that way. So uh, if you haven't seen the trailer for this, you need to go YouTube it, Cyberpunk 2077, and check it out. I'm sure everybody's already seen it, but all you I'm going to say, and, yeah. and we're going to end it. we're going to end it with this, is... Sorry, watchdogs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, man. Um fuck, we've been going on for way too long yeah. and we still have a shit ton more to cover. Exactly. But I think we're we're going to leave it at this, so yeah. uh I don't know, we'll figure out another uh, we might have to record another two more times this week. <laughs> right. I thought we were going to do like one now and one later, but it seems like we're going to oh, do man. two more later. Seems like we're doing two more. Yeah, so we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, just my EA and Microsoft guys. Thank you for tuning in to Drillcast E3 2018 Part One. We will come out with Part Two and quite possibly Part Three uh, later on in the week. Uh, hit us up on Twitter. I'm at Truaz. He is at J Spin. And until next part, <laughs> play to your drill. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.